Hey, I hope you're doing good. It's Chris here from Six Dream Finger Picking, and in this lesson, we're learning how to play Neon by John Mayer. Okay, so this song is number 49 on my top 60 finger picking songs on the all time list. If you haven't seen that list, make sure you check it out. It's in the description. It's my top 60 finger picking songs to learn of all time from beginner to advanced. And we're learning one song each and every week. Check out the list. If you like the songs, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of these great lessons. Anyway, let's start learning Neon. Okay, so as this song is so big, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide it up into two parts. And then this first part that we're going to look at, we're going to do the main riff, we're going to do the pre-chorus, and we're going to do the chorus. And then in my next bunch of YouTube videos, I'm going to look at the the introduction, you know, that from the live version, and we're going to do the bridge from the live version as well. So we're going to do the whole thing. Um, and it's not going to be easy if you've not done this before, but it's such a great song to learn how to play. So if you want to get the whole lesson, make sure you head over to sixstreamfingerpicking.com because so you've got all the tab uh, and the whole lot right there, completely for free. So I really recommend checking it out there. Anyway, let's get cracking with the main riff. Um, it's going to be, if you've not done it before, going to have its challenges, that's for sure. It's not an easy piece. There's so much going on. John Mayer is an unbelievably talented uh, musician, a mind-blowing guitar player. Anyway, so the first thing you've got to do is you've got to take your E string and you've got to down-tune that to the note of C. Okay? The rest are in standard tuning, but just drop that one down. So let's break it right down. What you want to do on the bass note almost always, even though this is C, I'm going to still refer to it as the E string. On the E string, um, you're, you're going to be slapping that. Okay, almost always. So you take the flesh of your thumb and you kind of just whack the string and then pull it away really quick. If you don't know how to do that, make sure you watch some other videos of people teaching you how to slap. But it's quite an important part uh, to the song. Okay, so bear that in mind. There's also a lot of muting going on of dud strings um, and all sorts of stuff. And it's a really peculiar technique because it's all played between your thumb and your first finger. Okay, most of the time you're playing thumb, first finger, thumb, first finger, thumb, first finger, thumb, first finger. So bear that in mind. On the tab on the website, um, I've written the finger in above each note that you should above each note. So make sure you follow that fingering because that's how John Mayer plays it. A lot of people kind of play it like this, you know, doing that kind of thing. And it's, it kind of works, but you lose the rhythm. And if you've not done this, this technique's going to take some, some work. It really is, but you know, it's well worth it. So let's go. really hard to play it slow once you know how to play it. So first off you slap the E string that's down tuned to C and then with your first finger you're going to play the D but it's muted so your fingers are just resting lightly on the string okay. So slap, mute and then with your thumb down on the G again that one's mute. So your first three notes and if the slap's hard just forget about it for now and just play this. Okay, and then add the slap later. And then your first actual note that you play, well, other than this one, 8th fret on the B string, first finger, the note of G, okay? So you've got slap, dud G, dud D, and then 8 on the B. And that's thumb, if you watch my right hand, thumb, 1, thumb, 2. And then after that, you kind of got a little tap, just a little light tap where you knock into the strings. So just see if you can get that moving. It's going to feel very uncomfortable, as I say, if you've not done it before. So after that tap, your next note is the 10th fret on the G, okay? So a note of F. Okay. 
playing that one with my first finger. So I recommend just looping that round and round and round until you can kind of get it to move a little bit and groove. Okay, and then open E string and then the D string. So it's thumb and then first finger. Okay, so that's really your first chord on like this kind of C sus4 chord. Let's just get a really quick right hand shot, nice close up of the right hand for that part. Okay, so once you've got that, what you want to do is move down to this chord down here. So what I'm doing with your thumb, you really do want to use your thumb for this, clamp down on the third fret, and at the same time with that, on the D and the G string, also clamp down with your first finger and bar the third fret. And then you want your second finger on the fourth fret of the B. Okay, so that's three on the E, three on the D, three on the G, and four on the B. Clamp that down, and then you're going to play E, D, G, B, okay? Strings E, D, G, B. That's thumb, one, thumb, one. Okay? Followed by a tap, so. And then third finger catches the fifth fret on the D. Play that one. And then the open E string. And then move up to the 6 on the D, and you want to catch that one, okay? So, okay, keep your second finger held down, notice that, as you move into your next chord, which we'll get onto in just a second. So, once again, E, D, G, B, picking out those strings, tap, and then 5 on the D, Open E string, push up to the 6 on the D. It's keeping your, this finger on here because next you go to this chord. And I'm holding down with my thumb the 5th fret on the D string, the 6th fret, sorry, 6th fret on the E string, 5th fret, what am I talking about? 5th fret on the E string, 6th fret on the D string, 3rd fret on the G, and 4th fret on the B string. Fingers, that's thumb, then third finger, first finger, and second finger. That's how I'm playing that. So I go from here to, to here, okay? And then once you've got that, you pick right the way through again. So it's E, D, G, B. Pick those strings. Thumb, one, thumb, two. Tap, and then play the G, third fret. Fingers on there, okay? So once more, that's E, D, G, B, tap and then the G string again, holding down that chord. Okay, so let's go right the way back to the beginning. That's what we've got so far, with the open E and open D. And then, we get the same chord as this, but shift it up, so with your thumb you're playing the eighth fret on the E string, and then the D and the G parallel, on the 8th fret, flatten that, and then 2nd finger on the ninth fret. And you pick right through that, E, D, G, B. That's thumb, one, thumb, two. Pick out those strings. And then you've got this last chord, you've got your 3rd finger on the 10th fret of the E string, and then your pinky parallel to that on the D string on the 10th fret. 1st finger is playing the D note on the G string, that's the 7th fret, and then 2nd finger is playing the G note on the B string. That's the 8th fret. And you just pick right through that, so you play E string, D, G, B, okay? So the last two chords, you just pick right the way through. Like that. So really have a good look at my right hand as I play through the riff right now. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. I really hope that you've enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. And head over to sixstringfingerpicking.com for the remainder of this lesson and loads more fingerstyle guitar lessons. And I'll see you over there. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.